Okay, so coming out of the master bedroom in 48 Morrison, uh, probably important to note that this is the back of the media panel, so you don't uh, hammer any drywall screws through there. There's a switch here um, just coming out of the master bedroom. There is a light, or this is a smoke detector, I think, Yeah. right here. A pot light in the hallway. Um, this is your door chime. That's the button, and this is to the ringer. And this is your thermostat right here. There's a plug-in uh, on the bottom right-hand side, the corner in this hallway. Pocket door frame into the laundry room. Um, make sure guys don't put screws there too long into this. The drywallers know that. I marked it on the drywall before. Uh, coming into the laundry room, there's your light fixture. Here's your uh, laundry hookups, power for your washer, power for your dryer, the sink, uh, there's a plug-in right here above the counter, there's your light switch on the left hand side of the wall, everything's been boxed out in here. Mechanical room, nothing will get covered in here, so we don't need to worry about it. Uh, we do need to finish the ceiling though, and put the rest, put the ceiling up. Got insulate in there. In the front entrance, there's a plug when you walk in the front door in the bottom left corner. <clears throat> there's also a plug underneath the stairs. About uh, 22 feet off the wall. Um, there's a switch right to your immediate right once you come in the front door. The closet. Should be a switch in here, shouldn't there? There it is. Yeah. There's a switch Christmas for light. Christmas lights. <coughs> the uh, plug and switches just to the right hand side of the dining hutch. Um, there's backing in here for the dining hutch. There's a uh, plug there as well. Uh, two pot lights above that dining hutch. Um, the fireplace, there's a plug in just to the right hand side, about three feet to the right hand side of the fireplace. Six feet six off the floor. And there's another media that is 26 inches off the floor, 27 inches off the floor. Should we be noting the water line for the tap? Or they can just figure that out. Water line. There it is. Is that it? The water line? Uh, for the water exterior line for tap? The, yeah. The left hand side of the Nana door, there's a power outlet and switches. This wall in the living room, the back side of the mudroom, has a power outlet in the bottom of it on the left hand side of the wall. There's a built in back location. Um, Right here on this return going to the mudroom, there's your switches, a switch box. Going into the mudroom, there's a power outlet and a switch right there. There's also a switch for a power outlet here, about uh, four feet from the, four and a half, five feet from the mudroom door. Switches to the left of the mudroom door. Uh, closet. The powder room has been insulated. And there's a switch and power just 
just above the vanity in here. Pocket door again. Uh, kitchen. There's three plugs, three counter plugs. There's three low voltage lights coming out. There's the power for the fan coming out, backing for the fan uh, here. Should note there's also the gas line that um, is here for the range. And backing on the left hand side for floating shelves. and there's power here for the wine fridge. In the pantry, there is power just to the right hand side and power and um, or a switch to the, just to the right hand side and an outlet at counter height. Um, and our transformer box for the low voltage in the kitchen. Oh yeah, right here. And, oh, let's, let's just mark out to these kitchen pot lights and stuff. So in the kitchen ceiling, there is one, two, three, four, five, six pot lights. Uh, you've got your pendant locations and your speakers in the kitchen. In addition to the ceiling in the living room, you've got two pot lights and a speaker, two joists in from the big window. You've got your rough in for a fan. You've got two pot lights and speaker as well in the uh, about halfway middle of the middle window. And then you have your dining room uh, fixture location right here. And that is it. There's we should do there. the freezer and fridge plugs. And there's freezer and fridge plugs. Did we do the plugs in the... Um, I don't think we did the plugs in the... Oh, in the pantry? Yeah. There are... Uh, four. One, two, three, and four pantry plugs. Why did we do so many of those? Uh, and then upstairs. Maybe do the entry boy light fixture. Sorry, this light, yeah, this light fixture. And there's a Fourier light fixture as well. Now we're in the bonus room, the flex room. There's a power outlet left-hand side of the bump out. You've got median power in the bump out. Um, power just to the bottom left of this window. Power to the bottom right of this window. Power. Power. And backing for a future barn door. And in here, four pot lights. One, two, three, and four. And then walking into the bedroom along the road. You want to do the bedroom first? Um, there's a power outlet to the bottom left of the window. Power left, that left the bottom right of the window. The closet. 
power outlets on either side of where the bed location would be. There is uh, TV and data location here, and I should put backing in here for that. I'll do that tomorrow. Uh, your switch is just in the right, inside right here. In the hallway uh, to the bathroom, there's power on the bottom, and you've got your other rough-in, back rough-in, right there. You've got a switch just in the hallway here as well. Bathroom. You have uh, switches just in the inside left of the door. You've got your uh, HRV uh, return air uh, duct. You have an outlet, power outlet, counter height. Two pendant lights. Top there. Two pendant lights, yep. And you've got backing here for towel bar. Um, and that's backing for a towel bar. Yeah, for something. Towel bar, you have a counter across there. Um, you've got backing in here for your shower rod. Pot light above this tub. Anything I'm missing? Nope. In this hallway, there's a plug on the right hand side going into the last bedroom. It faces on the north side of the house. Um, you have this is your um, radon gas collector. You've got power on the bottom right hand side of the right wall. Power again on the bottom right hand side of the window. Power on the bottom left hand side of the window on the outside wall. Another power outlet there and a switch to the right of the door as the exit. Ceiling, you have smoke detector and light fixture.